Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. In today's video, I'm going to show you another way of tempering chocolate, which is called the seeding method. If you'd like to see how to temper chocolate really easy using the microwave, click on this video. I also go into a lot more detail behind the science of tempering in that video, if you're interested. So the seeding method works essentially by taking part of your chocolate and warming it up to a specific temperature where all of the crystals in the chocolate are melted. Then you add fresh bits of chocolate, seeds, that already contain some stable crystals, which cools your chocolate down. Those two things combined with lots of movement encourage more stable beta crystals to form. And then to finish, you just make sure the chocolate is brought up to its working temperature and held there and it's ready to go. You can use dark, milk, white, or any couverture chocolate with this method. Just make sure that you check your specific brand and type of chocolates temperature chart. Today, I will be using Calibit Semi-Sweet Chocolate. Along with your chocolate of choice, you will need a thermometer, <laughs> a large metal bowl, and a large pot. I am going to be tempering my chocolate today over a double boiler over the stove. If you happen to have a chocolate melting tank, you can use that. Just keep in mind that it takes a long time to melt your chocolate in that. So to get started, you're going to decide how much chocolate you'll need total for whatever project you're doing. Um, I'm just going to temper this whole bag and it's five pounds. So what you're going to do is take 20% of your total weight and set it aside. So 20% of five pounds is one pound. So I'm going to measure one pound and put it in this bowl and set it aside. And this one pound of chocolate will be our seeds. The next step is to bring a pot of water to a boil. You don't need a full pot of water, just a couple inches will do the trick. Once the water is boiling, turn off the heat and place your bowl of chocolate onto the pot. You will now melt the chocolate in the bowl, keeping a close eye on the temperature and stirring it often to make sure it doesn't burn and that the heat is being evenly distributed. Once the chocolate reaches 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit, remove it from the steam and onto a towel to carefully wipe off all of the water, making sure you don't get any moisture into the chocolate. Okay, the chocolate is at 44.9 degrees, perfect. Now all that's left to do is add in your little seeds and stir, stir, stir. <laughs> the movement in the chocolate helps encourage the right type of stable crystals to form and it also helps cool down the chocolate for us. Now my chocolate's about 33 degrees Celsius and there's still a lot of um, seeds. And so in order to help them melt, I'm going to use a stick blender. And you can do that if they're having a hard time melting because it cooled a little too quick. 
So I'm just going to blend them up and help them get melted. The other option is that you can add a little bit less than 20% of the total chocolate or chop your bits before you add them. Just whatever works. There's a lot of factors. It can be how warm or cool your room temperature is, how quickly you're stirring, things like that. Okay, it's still at 32 degrees, so I'll just keep stirring and cool it down. 32 degrees is my working temperature for this dark chocolate, but I can cool it down to 27 if I need to. Just want all the bits to be melted. I'm gonna go at it one more time with this because I see it's still a couple bits. All right, it's looking really smooth. It's at 32.7, so it's just about perfect. It's almost cool to our working temperature of 32. So, now just one little quick note. If you're using a tank, um, you can just adjust the temperature to the working temperature, and then it'll just hold it there, which is great. Keeps it warm for you. Um, if it's in a big bowl like this and you go lower than 32 by a couple degrees, you can pop it back on the steam on the stove to warm it back up to 32 as you work. And you can do that as you're working. Or the other option to keep it at its working temperature is to just use a heat gun. Or if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hairdryer <laughs> and you just add a little heat and then stir it. Um, to keep it fluid while you're working. Okay, it's looking good and smooth and it's 32.3 degrees. So we're going to do a temper test. Now for the temper test, I'm just going to dip this into the chocolate, a little metal spatula. Set it right here. See how right now it's shiny. You can see the shine. I'm going to set my timer for five minutes. The dark chocolate should set within five minutes. Um, milk and white chocolate will take a little bit longer than five minutes, but definitely any chocolate, if it's not set up within 10 to 15 minutes, then it's probably not tempered. You can see that it's no longer shiny. You can tell that it's setting up and it's only been three and a half minutes. If I touch it, no chocolate on my finger and it stays there. So it is tempered. Now, once you are done using your chocolate, you can spread the leftovers evenly on a piece of parchment paper. Let it set up and then break it up into pieces and reuse it another time by retempering it. Well, that is how you temper chocolate using the seeding method. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Please let me know you liked it by giving it a like down below and leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that's chocolatey and sweet, 
just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye.